One of the things that one of my students taught me years ago was that if you bring the, the creature right to the edge, that sometimes you can go right around the edge and nobody will touch him and you can get away with it. Now I'm not, I'm not sure that that's always the case, but uh, he seemed to think that it happened more often than not. So just to make sure and to make these cars look a little bit more realistic when they're driving off the screen, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to make it so that the cars actually appear way back and will drive right off the screen. Now if you've already done the advanced version then you've already solved this problem but for those of us doing the beginning version of this touching edge this is a different way to solve the problem without using clones. So if you've solved it already using clones then, then carry right on. The big problem is that if touching the edge is right here and that's, that's our biggest problem. Um, and so what we want is we want this vehicle to start at this location so in this case x equals negative 271 so I'm gonna go here and type in negative 271 and I also have to do the same thing down here negative 271 so that it starts at that same location and so it just just it makes it so that the bumper appears but if touching the edge would just continuously send it back because right now it is touching the edge so what we need to do is we need to have some kind of another variable. And since we've already used all these green operators as much as we have, this should be fairly straightforward because we want to check the X position of the car and see um, if it's driven off the edge. So uh, what I want to do is I want to just get one of these uh, little testers and up in the motion area and then down at the very bottom, there is one called X position and so I'm going to check to see if the X position uh, is greater than uh, a number and in this case I'm going to pick 260 just simply because I'm not really sure where it goes I know this is about 240 right here so I want it to still drive off the screen about 20 pixels worth so we'll give that a try and when I receive new game so here it comes this one car so I've only selected this one thing it's highlighted and glowing and it will drive off the screen and then disappear and then reappear over here so it just makes it look a tad bit more realistic um, if you want to try uh, different numbers here uh, based on different vehicles because I'm using the exact same vehicle for every lane other people have used like helicopters or buses or whatever so you'll definitely want to experiment with what that X position is as it drives off and you may have different vehicles in different lanes so you'll need to change that number otherwise they'll just get stuck right there um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add that onto my other vehicles so I just take that touching edge put it out here so that I can find it really easily and then grab um, an operator and actually I'm gonna cheat even more than that I'm just going to throw that onto there, throw that onto there, and throw that onto there. Now, ironically, this will work really well for the two that are going um, in the right direction. So that's great. But for the two that are going in the left direction, this is not going to work at all. So in that case, I need to change these around. So I put X position on this side, and I put negative 260 on this side. Uh, and then I just grab touching edge and put this in here and actually I'm just going to copy that one onto my other vehicle so throw touching edge away put that in instead did this work? no it didn't work let's see if we can put that there we go okay so that now um, gives me the right uh, values now the let's run this and see So when this teleports back, oh, it's still coming in at the full vehicle. So this is driving off. Oh, and that one's getting stuck. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it gets stuck. That's no problem. So we'll just go to the brown convertible. And, oh, it was uh, 260. That should be um, negative 260. Oh, oh, it's really wrong. Oh, ha, huh. I got the wrong one in there wonder I'm confused so if the X position is to the left of negative 260 that's better so that will work um, but now the question is can I back these vehicles up 
so that it just looks like they're just arriving onto the screen at the very beginning. So this X position here is 271. You can see it right there. So I'm just going to type in 271 here. And also for when it comes around again, 271. Um, and I'm going to do the th same thing with the brown car. 271 and 271. And I don't think I did it with the yellow car. So this uh, was at negative 271. So I'm just going to go here and type in negative 271 for the yellow car. Negative 271 for the yellow car. Throw away that touching edge. And when I press to play, now the cars actually appear to be driving from off the screen. They appear to be driving off to the off of the screen, and then a new car appears that's a different color. So it doesn't necessarily give the impression that it just appeared out of nowhere. So that is successful.